Okay, in this video, we're going to look at some of the harder vectors questions. So here we've got a question. P, Q, R, S is a parallelogram. T is the point on S, Q, such that S to T to T to Q is 2 to 1. So we've got two parts and one part. So two thirds and one third. M is the midpoint of Q to R. M is the midpoint of Q and R. Show that P, T and M are on the same straight line. They're on the same straight line. That means they go through the same point. And one will be a multiple of the other one. So if we work out P to T and work out P to M, They'll both go through P, and if they're going in the same direction, so if one's a multiple of the other one, they are on the same straight line. So let's work out P to T and P to M. So what do we know? We know that well, S to R must be the same as P to Q. So that's 2A, because opposite sides of a parallelogram are the same. M is a midpoint, so R to M will be a B, and M to Q will also be a B, because the whole line is 2B, so 1B and 1B. Then we should also work out S to T, so if we work out S to Q first, so S to Q, is two B's plus two A's. Two B's plus two A's, or two A's plus two B's, either way around. And S to T is two thirds of this. So S to T is two thirds of two B plus 2a and we can expand that bracket which will give us four thirds b plus four thirds a so we should have everything we need now to work out p to t and p to m so let's work out p to t We're going to go from P to S, and then from S to T. So P to S is minus 2B, and S to T we just worked out as 4 thirds B plus 4 thirds A. So simplifying that, we've got 4 thirds A. And we've got four thirds take away two. So two is two whole ones is six thirds. So four thirds take away six thirds is minus two thirds. So we've got four thirds A minus two thirds B. So there's P to T. We also want to know P to M. So P to M is two A's, so we're going to go P to Q, and then Q to M. So P to Q is two A, and Q to M is minus B. So that's two A minus B. So we need to show that one is a multiple of the other one, how can we do that? So if we look at P to T again, and we factorize out two thirds. So we factorize two thirds. So take two thirds out of both of them. Two thirds times what makes four thirds? Well, that's two. And 
Well, two thirds times what makes minus two thirds is minus one. So P to T is two thirds of P to M. So P to T is two thirds of P to M. So one is a multiple of the other. So PT is a multiple of PM and they both go through P. So they go in the same direction and through the same point. So they are on the same straight line. So if they're in the same direction and they go through the same point, they're on the same straight line. Okay, here we've got another question. So we've got another triangle ABC, the line BC extended this time out to D. And what have we been told? We've been told that M is the midpoint of A and B. So M is halfway between A and B. And let's work out, let's work out A to B straight away. So A to B. So with these questions, we can also, we can always start by working out what we can do easily. So if we work out A to B, that's going to be A minus B. So to get from A to B, we go A to C and then C to B. So that means that A to M and M to B, because M is a midpoint, that's going to be half of this journey, which is half A minus half B. What else do we know? B, C, D is a straight line. And B, C to B, D is 1 to 3. So B to C is one part, and that's called B. B to C is called B. So B to D is three parts, so it's three times as much, so 3B. So B to D is 3B, which means C to D must be 2B. So B to C is B, the whole journey is three Bs, so C to D must be two Bs. E is on the line AC, and MED is a straight line, so MED, so E is somewhere on the line A to C. We don't know where, but MED is going to be a straight line. And we need to know the ratio A to E to E to C. So we need to work out how far E is along this line. So let's use a letter. We'll call A to E K. A. So we know it's going to be a fraction of the total. The total journey is called A. So we're going to call that fraction, however far along the line it is, K. And we're going to work out K by using the fact that MED is a straight line. So we're going to work out M to E and M to D. And we're going to use the fact that one is a multiple of the other one because they're on the same straight line to work out k to work out what fraction of a to c a to e is so we're going to work out both of these lines m to e and m to d so let's do m to e and i'm going to go m to a and then A to E. So M to A, and then A to E. M to A is, what well, it's, I know A to M, so M to A is that backwards. So it's the backwards version of this. 
So to go backwards, we times it by negative 1. So m to a is going to be minus a half a plus a half b. And a to e, that's k a, remember. So we don't know what fraction of a it is, but we're calling it k, and that's what we're working out. So there's m to e. We want m to d now. We can't simplify that one anymore. So let's go m to d. And m to d is going to be m to b, and then b to d. So m to b is this one again. So half a minus half b. And b to d is three b's. So we're going to simplify that. I've got half a, and I've got three b's, take away half of a b, which is two and a half b's, or five over two b as a fraction. So I've got my two lines now, and I need to work out what k is by using the fact that one is a multiple of the other one. So we can say, we can make this in one equation. So this line is a multiple, or the other line is a multiple of that one, and we're going to call it x. So we're going to say that this line, m to e, is x times m to d. So we've got one equation now, and I'm going to expand that bracket. So half times x is half x, so we've got half x a, and 5 over 2 times x is 5 over 2 x, so we've got 5 over 2 xb. Now this looks quite complicated, but what we can do with vectors is we can split the a's and the b's. So we can say the a's must be equal and the b's must be equal. So we can write two separate equations, one for a and one for b. So for my a's, how many a's have I got on the left side? So I've got minus a half plus k. They're the a's from the left side. And on the right side, I've got half x. For my b's, on the left side, I've got half b, so just half. And on the right side, I've got 5 over 2 x. So I've got to work out, well, I'm going to use the b equation to find x, and then substitute it into the a equation, and that will tell me k. So that will tell me how far along the line our point is. So let's solve this one. So if I double both sides, 1 equals 5x, and divide both sides by 5, x is a fifth. So what does that tell me? x is a fifth. That tells me that m to e is a fifth of m to d. I mean, it's nice to know, but it's not what we want to work out. So I'm going to substitute this fifth into my other equation to work out k. So I've got half times a fifth. Half times a fifth is a tenth. And the plus half to both sides to find k. So I've got a tenth plus a half. A half is five tenths. Five tenths and one tenth is six tenths. So I've fi finally found k. So it's six tenths or even simplifi simplified three fifths. So k is three fifths. What does that tell me? A to E is three-fifths of A, 
which means e to c must be the rest of a. So that's two fifths of a. So a to e is three fifths a, and e to c is two fifths a. And I need the ratio a to e to e to c. So three fifths to two fifths. So I can say it's three fifths to two fifths or even better, times both by five, three to two.